I'm Owen Big Line. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Okay, a question I get a lot continuously is, Owen, where is their good value right now? Should I be buying out in Surrey or should I buy a detached house in Maple Ridge? Where is their value? Buying a studio apartment downtown? Where do you see good value? So here's what I would say. I do see good value. The market, as you guys know right now, is, is very strong. It's a strong, strong seller's market. So you're not going to steal anything. There's no bar what I would call screaming bargains out there, especially not not in the detached market in Vancouver. Townhomes are at a, about a, a price to active listings ratio of close to 60. Uh, record setting prices in, in that market, detached uh, townhome, duplex, one bedrooms. I've done lots of blogs on those. The one bedroom, good high quality one bedroom condos and studios are you know all time record highs right now. But where I do see, the one area that I do see good value in would be this, it would be a little bit older stratas in downtown Vancouver. Uh, so it could be Coal Harbor, West End, uh, perhaps even Mount Pleasant. I've got a listing there right now that would fit this bill. Uh, maybe they're 15 to 25 year old stratas that are in good condition because that is the, the main thing. It's no use going after a fully renovated unit uh, if the strata is a mess and you could be looking at $100,000 in levy. So the strata has got to be right. But these would be bigger units, two and three bedroom units that have had a full high end, very high quality renovation done to them. And I've got a couple listed right now. I have many of these every year. I probably sell two, three, four of these type of units every single year. And sometimes I can sell them quick and other times they languish a little bit. Right now I've got a couple that have been languishing a little bit. But there is good value here. I'll give you an example here. I've got two right now that I'm selling at around $1,350 a square foot. Now these were both very new renos, just a year, two years old, and they were done to a very high standard. Uh, we're talking $350,000 on one. These are a two bed and den, both of them around 13 to 1400 square feet. One was about a three fifty dollars reno, the other was just over $400,000 reno. So everything was done to these. We're talking sub-zero fridge, uh, built-in uh, cappuccino makers, high-end appliances, real hardwood flooring, air conditioning was installed, bathrooms, beautiful showers, rainfall shower, very high-end renos. This is probably where I would see the best value right now because I, I, you look at some of these units, what you're getting for you know a, a good quality one bed that's maybe 10 years old, you're paying 850 for that. You know, to get into one of these units I'm kind of talking about here, we're talking one six, one seven, one eight, just under two million dollars. But these are 14, 1500 square foot units. The price per square foot actually is about the same as what these one bedroom units are selling at. But these are far, far higher quality inside. The finishings uh, on these higher end renovated luxury two and three bedroom units. But you see, of course, the reason for that is, is that there's a lot of buyers under the million dollar price category or even under the 850 price category. Once you start, start getting into one six, one seven, one nine for a two or three bed 20 year old condo that sure has been fully renoed and, and it's luxury inside is a much slimmer market there. Uh, you're kind of now competing almost with duplexes and in some cases detached homes in that price category. But if someone asks me where is value right now, that's where it's at. Because, you know, I look at some of these units I have, a couple that I've got currently listed right now, let's call them, you know, a two bed and den for 1,400 square feet for 1.85 million, 1 million 850. You know, that works out to about 1360 a square foot. Well, if you're looking for a luxury newer condo in Coal Harbor or Yale Town or perhaps the West End, you're looking at 17, 18, 2000 a square foot to duplicate the finishings on these. Now, mind you, those would be newer stratas, but there's good value there. And this is typical of how markets go. I think right now on renovations right now, anyone that's done a renovation lately, you know, you're going to see a, I think renovated units right now in some ways, even if it's, if it's a two bed or even a one bed, I think are a little bit undervalued because people don't realize, I think right now, the surge that we've had in renovation costs to renovate a condo or a townhome or even a detached home. 
it's gone up substantially and I don't think that massive surge we've seen in renovation costs has been built in to the ones that are currently listed yet. It will. There's always a delay there. But anyone that buys a home right now who plans on renovating it, you got to be a little bit careful here. Talk to tradespeople. Talk to your, your contractors. A lot of these guys right now have got a year or more waiting list. I know for the good ones I know that are doing the high quality renos in downtown Vancouver, if you want to do a reno on a two bed, two bath, you're probably looking at about a year before they'd even be able to get around to it. The material costs to get the fridge, the sub-zero fridge and the fireplace and the, and the gas range, long waiting times on some of those if they can get material and stock. Um, so you have gotta take that into consideration. Of course, getting the permits done from the city of Vancouver is more expensive and that's taking longer, getting the approval from the Stratus. So these things, these time delays and, and delays in getting materials and appliances will all continue to increase that renovation cost. I would say right now to do a basic reno on a two bed, two bath, a thousand square foot condo. I think just to do a basic reno, you're probably looking upwards of 175 to 200,000 to do it right. You could do it a little cheaper if you really wanted to go cheap on the materials. But as I've said many times before, when you're doing a reno, basically half the cost is labor. The other half is materials. Well, you're not going to be able to cut on the labor. So if you want to cut down the cost, you've got to cut down on materials. But the difference between a $3 a square foot floor and a $7 a square foot floor is night and day. You don't do the $3 a square foot floor because on a thousand square foot unit, it might cost you another $2,000 to do the higher quality floor. The material or the install costs and the leveling and the underlay is all going to be the same regardless of the quality of the floor. So I think a typical one bedroom now, what used to cost me 35000 to do a basic one bed, one bath reno is probably closer to sixty or 65000 now. So I don't think the, the true costs of what these renovation costs have gone up, not just the labor, but the permits, and then of course the materials have been baked into some of these units yet. Because I've got a couple right now. And um, I think that's where the value would be. If you've got a you know, 1.6 or 1.7 or 1.8, there's some very good condos out there, fully renovated and good stratas. Strata might be 18 to 22 years old, 23 years old, but the stratas are in good shape. Um, so that's where I would probably look. But of course, it's a rare bird that's buying a 1.8, 1.9, $2 million condo because you're competing there against duplexes and detached homes in a lot of cases. But that's where the value is right now, probably where the one area where I see good value, older condos and good stratas that have had very high-end renos done. I'm Old Big Win. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I'll see you next week.